go afterwards and practice the no, things comment. that you learn. Practice when you when you see that you know what. I really used everything that I learned, and my work looks the way I was expecting after that class. I'm already here. Let's do the next thing. If you got a passion for lashes, let me see it. It's time to level up. If you need me to, I'll teach you my six figure secret. Better believe it, cause I believe in you. You're listening to the Full Time Lash Artist Podcast. If you want to jumpstart your lash career, you can also watch Cosme's free lash training at www.fulltimelashartist.com. Let's grow. Okay, Elena, so back then in two, 2000, correct? 2010? 2011. When you f- 2011, 10 years ago, when you first started. Can you share with my audience how was everything back then? It wasn't. There was nothing back then. So it was um, three of us lashing uh, in the entire Miami and uh, none of us were really good. Apparently, you know, a few years later, you kind of think back and, and you remember what you did back then. I mean, we put like 0.20, 14 wow. meters from corner to corner and we wow. were all about it. It was, you know, that's how lashes work. It was the longer the better it's definitely a process now when you see how everything evolved how it developed is is completely different i think if you will take somebody that started even like five years ago and you put them back then they wouldn't believe it it was really it was really um zero knowledge it was everything winging everything halfway you know but um hey we did the work and we pushed through and wow. here we are so let's say you will start for, from scratch right now. Would you do something different than before? I mean, the, the possibilities right now are different, different. because w- when I started, it was the most important. It was nobody to learn from. That's the, that's the essential thing. This is the first thing that everybody should, should be focusing on. So back then it was no such a thing as a good class, for example, not for lashes, not for business. I mean, we had zero understanding about absolutely everything we did. Okay, Lena, so let's say if you all start from scratch those days, would you do something different than before? You know, it, it, it would be completely different because when I started, the um, main thing that we didn't have is any type of education, any education. type of courses, from the actual lashes to, to business. So it would be completely different. Because if I would have started now, I wouldn't try to figure it out and just see what happens and, and try things. You know, it, it just would be completely different. Now, I would go and take proper classes Class. first and first because I would have saved so much time on those mistakes and doing it wrong. And that that's the main thing. I would go and I would learn proper way of doing what I do day one. That's a great advice. 100%. Yeah. Now, mainly my audience are like lush right at the beginning, like beginners. What would you recommend for them to do at first, at the beginning? Do they focus on getting the clients? Do they focus on making the business growing? What, what would you suggest? I'm going to have to step back to the previous um, uh, answer and bring it back proper education first thing that you want to do is take the best class you could possibly find just kind of like browse the artists that you know of okay look at the work look at the level of success the whole picture choose who you're going to follow because this is so important, okay? You have to kind of look at what they do, how they do lashes, how they do business. You're gonna take the class with that person, this is how you're going to start, okay? It's like, it's a little copy and paste, okay? So it is so important to choose extremely wisely because what we see a lot happening, um, especially we train a lot here in, in lash makers, um, and, and we are in Miami, so lash extensions 
very popular and there's more and more lash artists uh, coming up. Mostly we, we retrain people. So we don't, we don't really have many people that are starting from scratch. We, we get students that they already took a class or two. And it's important to understand that when you go and kind of shop around by price maybe, cheap is expensive end of the day. Hmm. So you're going to have to go and take another class and another class until you kind of like give up on it and you say, you know what, I'm going to go and take a proper class, a little bit more expensive, um, but with a person that's, that, that has better reputation, uh, a better success, better work. So choose wisely, number one. Number two, whatever is learned has to be practiced and applied and implemented over and over and over again. Okay. Another thing that we see, especially, I want to say maybe like the first year of, um, of a new lash artist career, what I see is that they would go and they would take a class. And then like four months later, they take another class and then another one. Because people think, okay, I'm going to take this class and that's the one that will do it for me. This is when I'm going to, I'm going to start making money. This is when <laughs> my work is going to change completely. And that's not how that works. Okay. You have to take the proper class and then make sure, make sure that you really go afterwards and practice the mm -hmm. things that you learn. Practice when you, when you see that, you know what? I really used everything that I learned and my work looks the way I was expecting after that class. I'm already here. Let's do the next thing. Yeah. Let's do a little bit more advanced. Let's do um, more complicated, more whatever. So I just feel like people need to focus on really practicing, practicing. what they learn. Most important, proper class and then not stopping until the work True. looks like it was intended in the class. True. Yeah, 100%. that's a great advice. So now in terms of choosing the class, what would you recommend? Do I have to uh, look how much experience the lash artist had? Do I have to choose what kind of background they have? So what, what do you think? So now for me, because I took your class, right? And I'm super, super happy and super knowledge, to be honest. The thing that made me took your class, it was your knowledge, your style, your background. And I see that you had so much, so much experience. And plus I see how many students you teach every single day. So for me, I said, okay, this is the one that I'm gonna go. So what would you suggest for those kind of people? Well, first of all, I'm happy you're here. Thank you. Uh, thank you for traveling to see me. Thank you. It makes me feel really nice. Of course. Nice. Um, but I think, you know, this is actually a very common question in terms of how do you become a trainer? How do you bring the students? How, how, how? And um, I always answer the same thing. You don't become trainer. People make you trainer. Your students make your trainer is it's that it's that day when people start contacting you wanting to learn from you wanting to literally spend time around you sometimes that's all it takes sometimes right so how one gets to that point it literally has to come from the artist in all aspects it literally comes from the artist, from all the aspects, earning the respect in the community, earning the respect of people in the industry. And this is comes to lashes because when I was coming up, I, I was an artist first. People knew me as a high caliber of an artist. That's how people knew who I am mm. before lash makers. Yeah. It, it was, I didn't even have a name, my, my Instagram back then was Perfect Lashes Miami. So it's like, I didn't have a brand, I didn't have a name. People knew me because of my work, strictly because of yes. my work. So when you provide high quality of work, nobody can argue with that. You can't argue with quality, you can't. 
And so this is the number one factor. Number two, because I was really good at what I did in terms of okay. art, okay, it was easier to build a business on that foundation. Now I went and I learned more about business and I researched and that was a whole, a, a different side of, of what I did, um, understanding how um, this business works, how any business works. And so when you have the combination of the two, you, you provide, you constantly show very high quality work and then you understand in your business, you understand how things should be working um, financially, how to structure what you do properly. When you combine the two, this is where the money starts happening, right? The, this, the success part is happening. And so this is where when the person sees how you grow oh. as a business, the things you, you, you do, uh, places you travel, things you buy, lifestyle in general the person start wondering wait a minute how come i'm in the same business with them but that's what they got so this is where it comes from comes from. and this is where the person says you know what let me go and see because i i want to know how they do that so it is about earning the respect first it's about leading by example because everything that I teach and I ever taught, it was based on what I do literally for myself. For me, if it was lashes, exactly. if it was the, the, the business part, anything, anything that I teach is only by my personal example. That's how I do things. And that's exactly what I tell you. And so when people see certain level of success, they simply want to know how, how you did that. But you gotta get there first, first yourself. One of my favorite phrases, don't tell me how to get it if you ain't got it. Very simple. True. So I love that. grow yourself first as an artist, as a business person, and then you will never have to market your classes again, ever. It's it's simple, it's simple but it's not easy. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> so, Lena, now, what would you suggest for lash artists, right, after a little bit? Do they have to focus on uh, getting more clients? Do they have to grow their business, opening a lash supplies or YouTube channel or podcast? What would you recommend for them after a while? Well, first of all, it, it really depends on the goal because some people um, learn this and they want to be a lash artist. They want to do clients that maybe want to open salon and focus on the service industry. Some artists like us too, we uh, also went into training, right? Certifying other people. So that was another thing. Some people want product. Some people want to organize events, uh, competitions, uh, conferences, yeah. stuff like that. Some people want online things. So it, it, it definitely depends on what is it that you want to do, so to how to proceed. But in our case, for example, people that want to do everything, right? Pretty much besides the events, um, in my case, um, you have to grow as an artist first it's an artist because ultimately whatever you want to do later you want products you want uh, to be a trainer whatever the plan is you have to start has taken the clients it's going to have to be built on the respect earned the trust earned as an artist if you're not a good lush artist you How don't show done? amazing, amazing work, not a hair out of place, flawless images, which is sign of a good taste, right? Everything that you do is high quality. Nobody will want to listen to what you have to say. This is no. very simple. And this is why I can't stress it enough with, with our students, especially the beginners, um, keep convincing them to work hard on the art first. You get to a certain level of an artist, 
Nobody can take it away from you. Nobody can take it away from you. And from there, whatever, whatever the new thing you have to say or you do or you sell new product, you have a new course, whatever you come up with a new thing, there are always going to be people that will want to be part of it because of the trust, trust because of the respect as an artist. The first thing first, become high quality artist. Artist. And everything gonna go True. so much smoother from Step there. by step. Exactly. Correct. Now I would like to wrap things up and um, what will be your number one advice that you'll give to all my audience, lash artists, now and in six months? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna sound like a broken record because whoever knows me a little bit, it's like they know what I'm about to say when it comes to those things. Advices, you know, what's your advice? What is your advice? Tell me something. And what I'm gonna say always and forever when people ask me this is know your game. Know your game. I mean, Simple. you 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 went into this. Not because, you know, it, it, it's a, for, for pleasure, you know, to spend time as a hobby. You went into this because you made this your life career, okay? This is how you're going to make money. This is what your, where your time, your effort is going to go. So, full force. Go full force. Go and keep, keep learning. learning. Keep learning about lashes more, about business more. Keep learning and don't stop. Keep moving forward. The reason somebody is doing better than you, you, somebody is making more money than you, is because they're doing more than you. Than you. Correct. They know more than you. than you. That is the reason they're doing better. That is the reason they're more successful. And so, when I look at myself as a, as a business uh, owner, as a lash artist, the way my, my brain always works is I'm not going to let somebody be better than me mm-hmm. in my own business. And it sounds, it, it might sound kind of like a little bit like a narcissist some, somehow to some people or um, overconfident or and it's not about that at all because it's what you tell yourself okay it becomes about perception you can only be as good as you really think you are Mm -hmm. and so when i tell myself i won't let someone be better than me i'm gonna be always the hardest person i'm I'm always gonna be the hardest working person in the world. That's what I tell myself. Because I need to give myself the motivation. I need to to kind of like have the, the instructions for myself. So that's how I treat what I do. I say, I'm not gonna let somebody be better than me mm-hmm. in what I do. It's very simple. So whatever it is that I need to do, whatever it is that I need to learn, I'm gonna go and do it. I'm gonna go and do it, okay? Because to me, there is no other option. There's no other option. I'm already here. This is my business. This is my life every day. And I'm gonna make it mm-hmm. the absolute best I can. So, it requires a lot of effort, requires work. a lot of work, but like I said, this is where it comes down to. Okay, it's because you're gonna go and do things that other people don't wanna do. This is where the difference is. It's always the amount of knowledge and amount of effort. You do things that other people don't, don't do, do, and that's why you're more successful. Simple. Thank you so much. Are you so welcome? Thank Thank you you. so much. Thank you. (laughs) Let's grow.